بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم with Allah's name the merciful benefactor benefit giver the merciful redeemer ashhadu an la ilaha illallah i testify as an eyewitness that there is no thing no one to be worshiped except the almighty lord god creator wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rabbuhu wa rasulullah and i testify as an eyewitness that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayers and peace be upon him the mortal human being mortal human being who lived over 1450 some years ago he is one of the messengers of the lord god creator and he is the seal the end of all the prophets think about that take note of that over 1450 some years ago the seal the end of all the prophets uh, so just that statement there does away with any people in today's society or in the in the past one 1450 some years anyone who claims to be a prophet this declaration says no we don't accept that our faith tells us that the end of prophecy the end of the prophets excuse me was with the preaching the teaching of muhammad prayers and peace be upon him as always you know i'm always ready to come before uh the family the family of man the family of human beings and share with y'all things that i like you a student of religion a student of religious knowledge a student of religious spiritual science that since i learned that from listening to the imams and the females who put forth that teaching oh it has really allowed my mind to open up spread out and the information the data the the evidence the clarity by in by yen clarity that comes forth is never ending in this particular broadcast i'm going to share with you concerning the tree tree t r e e tree tree mentioned in the scriptures yes it is in both the holy bible book of the uh christians and it is also in the sacred quran the book of the muslims which makes sense all of us intelligent thinking people we know that there can only be one god one creator now and for this discussion now i'm not concerned with what each group might call the name that by which they call god i'm only interested here in the fact that all 
sensible, intelligent religions recognize that God, God is the creator, the Lord God creator, and there can only be one in that position. So all the different revelations come from the same source. All true revelations come from the same source, the Lord God. Now concerning the tree, here are some very, very interesting things. Doorways to study. Doorways to get closer to understanding your Lord God Creator and understanding what the Lord God Creator has for us human beings in His words. As I told you, this word here in the original Quranic language. This word is usually translated into the American English language as tree. A tree, a shrub, a vegetable, anything that grows and develops. But the primary definition, a tree. A tree but notice what I have here written here in large print. This is also one of the definitions which come from the same word which means tree. If that is true, and if it is true, then right there the Lord God Creator is telling us readers and students that a tree in the scriptures is related to is also speaking of the opening of the mouth the opening of the mouth a tree and the opening of the mouth there is a saying a teaching in the Holy Bible and also in the sacred Quran which says that you know you can define a tree by its production by what it produces many times in the ordinary American life and around the world we say our languages say things like that a good tree produces good fruit where did human beings, human society, get that saying? It came from the scriptures. For instance, here, chapter 14, verse or ayah, sign number 24. Chapter 14, verse 24, sign number 24. It says, Kali Matan, Kali Matan. Kalimatan Tayibatan English translation Kalimatan A word A word Tayibatan A word Good A good word Produces Tayib good fruit. A good word produces good fruit. A good a good word. Where does the words, human words, where do they come from? From the opening of the mouth, the human mouth. Well on that knowledge, on that science, we can now say that each human 
being is related to or equivalent to a tree. A tree. Now are you starting to get interested? How many types of trees are mentioned in your book of scripture, your book of revelation? Each type of tree going on what we have learned so far each type of tree is speaking of a type of human being and you, we can further identify that type of tree that type of human being by the opening of that person his or her mouth and what comes out of it the words that come out. Good words, good production. On that note, religious people, religious authorities, all, whether you be Jewish, Christian, Muslim, If you, the leaders, the teachers, the preachers, if you all teach the truth, teach the original truth as it is written in your books, it cannot do anything, the words cannot do anything but produce good. You might often hear people say that, well, especially leaders, religious leaders, some religious leaders, well, we teach them the message, but it's not our fault if the society won't accept it and live by it. No. We cannot accept that excuse. Because religion itself, the religions, all of them teach that with the opening of the mouth, the human mouth, giving of good words will produce good results. Guaranteed. Guaranteed by the Lord God Creator. Any words that are being given, religious words, and they're not producing good from their societies, from the people who make up the congregations, then evidently the leaders, the preachers, the teachers are not giving the people the correct word. Because the scripture guarantees that the giving of the correct words will produce correct results that doesn't there does not have to be anything wrong with the religion per se the religion itself but with the opening of the human mouth the way that it is given the way that it is taught the way that it is preached the way that it is shared may not be good if it's not producing good effects in the individuals and in the societies, in the congregations, then it's, it's at fault. It's faulty. It needs to be changed. In that case, the leadership needs to get back to the original. Teaching the original message. Sharing it with the population, with the people. Now I don't mean to, for this to be harmful to anyone, I'm simply sharing the truth from the scriptures. That's why I have my evidence right here. From the truth, from the truth, the scriptures. 
in the scriptures. Let's take a look here at this word, this particular word, teen. At, at, teen. At, teen. Translated into English means the fig tree. The fig tree. In the Holy Bible, the book of Matthews, chapter 21, verse 49. Verse 19, excuse me. Book of Matthew, 21, 19. We are given the story of Jesus, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, who cursed the fig tree which produced which did not produce good fruit. Oh they had a bunch of leaves a bunch of leaves but the leaf the leaves is not the produce, not the production. Leaves a lot to say, but producing no good. The Holy Bible says that Jesus cursed the fig tree. We have to ask ourselves, why? Why did Jesus curse the fig tree? The answer, because it was not producing good. The word coming from the fig tree was not producing good in individuals and in the society at large. Plenty of leaves, fig leaves. Remember that phrase also from the scriptures? From the study of the scriptures, Holy Bible and the Sacred Quran? It was fig leaves that the human society tried to cover themselves with after they disobeyed the original commands, the original good words of the Lord God Creator. They then tried to cover themselves up with fig leaves. Teen. The fig leaves. Fig. F-I-G. Fig mint, M E N T. Fig, small, tiny, M E N T. Mint, mind. Small, tiny, mind. That's why Jesus cursed the fig tree. It was not feeding the people. It was not giving them true foundation, true uh, truth, that which is necessary for proper growth. We are all different types of trees. We are, each one of us, we have the responsibility to produce good 
fruit. We have the responsibility to open the mouth, give the words that will result in goodness. Notice this alphabet here. Take a good look at its shape. Then go down here to this word. Okay, this is the word for tree. We go down here to this word. And if it's close enough, if you can make that out. And if you can't make it out here, please go research it on, on the internet. This is chapter 14. Verse 24 of the sacred Quran, you will find this, these words. Both of these words have the same alphabet at the end. These same alphabets, these two, are the same alphabets as, alphabet as this. That alphabet, the Lord God Creator's alphabet, is called a Tah Merbuta. Uh, in common language, it is referred to as a feminine T. Feminine T. Okay, with that information then, we have another field of study, another door opened. This tree is related to his in a parable um, type of way of speaking, this tree has qualities like a female. In that when the human mouth is opened, male or female, opening the human mouth to set forth words of scriptures, they should be good words. Words that will give birth give birth to correct minded offsprings generations and generations to come do you see the evidence people do you see the proof do you see the words of your Lord God Creator I just, I cannot get enough of it. <laughs> I cannot get enough of it. Now, personally, after things like this, I have come to the level, human level, where I know beyond la raiba fihi, there is no doubt. The words of scripture are true healthy and productive. There is no doubt in them. We have got to return to those original words. Recognition of them, understanding of them, and living by them. We pray that the Lord God Creator continues to bless our human efforts to remake the world, remake human society. Thank you all for your time. Assalamu alaikum.